Hello everyone, this is Yakuro and welcome to another episode of the video series using CodeLight as the primary IDE for the Unreal Engine 4 on Linux. In my previous video I showed you how to create the CodeLight project files using the Unreal Build tool and with that you could use CodeLight on Windows and Mac and after that a couple of people wrote to me that there are some issues on Windows and Mac so I'll check it and well yeah um, I'll fix those issues and made the code light source code access uh, cross-platform and now you can use that on Windows and Mac and if you're interested in that patch uh, if you go to the github uh, page of the Unreal Engine and check for the pull request 1555 and use that to patch your Unreal build tool and compile the code light source code accessor plugin. I'm not going to show that how you do that here I'll assume that you know that uh, but if there are some people interested and don't know how to do that I might make another video about such things okay so let's get back to the tutorial for today and I'm going to show how to use the game target to develop your projects a little bit faster for that let me start the Unreal Editor because we are going to create again a third person template and using that we are going to cook the content for that project and package it and we need that because as I mentioned already the game target needs cooked content to start and packaging we need because let me select this first and create and the packaging we need because my Unreal Engine folder is in my root folder that means it is here and usually the project files for the Unreal Engine are in documents and Unreal projects folder so now we are creating already one they should be here and uh, I'm sure you guys know that already so usually the binaries will be here in the game project folder and then your binaries and in my case Linux um, and then if you start usually it checks for the Unreal Engine folder which goes up until here and expects it here but as I mentioned already, my Unreal Engine folder is somewhere else. So I'm packaging it because the packaging provides that folder which is necessary for that game. And that's quite convenient. That's how I do it. Maybe there is, of course, a better way. So a uh, good way would be that you put your... Um, your Unreal Engine folder really here oh no I mean here in this folder and yeah and work with that but I'll separate those folders so okay now we have here our CodeLot project and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a plugin called external tools and I'm showing that because I'm using this tool actually to make a reference to the Unreal front-end I call this Unreal front-end and I explain soon why we are going to use that so I select the binary for the Unreal front-end which is here and the working directory is here uh, you can specify some icons but I'm not going to do that and now you can see this button here that will now start the Unreal front end and 
uh, usually I use the Unreal front end to do all the packaging, cooking, and so on. I don't use the command line. Um, it's really, it's really powerful um, tool, and yeah, well, and we're going to use that to do the cooking and packaging. So the first thing is we're not going to use the Unreal Tournament. <laughs> So we are creating a new project launcher. Then we select the project. And then um, now this build section here is like this. We can start building the necessary stuff, which is the game target um, and the uh, editor target. And the editor target is used uh, for the cooking process because the cooking is done by the Unreal Editor so it needs the um, editor module for the cooking process which makes sense so we can do that here manually or I would just recommend click this then select the configuration you're going to work here later so I was going to select development and here yeah it's selected already advanced settings we don't have to do anything and then cook on the fly by the book so we select by the book so there are two on the fly by the book the difference is if you select by the book um, it will cook the stuff so that you can start uh, the, the the game and all the stuff will be ready to start if you select on the fly the stuff will not be cooked but um, the cooking process will start the server and will wait for the game to connect and after connecting it will start cooking the stuff which is needed which is actually really cool to use it's a nice feature but I'm not going to show that maybe I can show that in another tutorial maybe that's useful for really big projects so if you don't want to cook because if you have huge projects and actually I'm not sure if this workflow what I'm showing now that will work with really big projects with huge amount of um, content that will really take a while but yeah nevertheless so select by the book then we select here of course the Linux now editor and that's okay then we package and so it locally and we don't want to deploy and launch we don't want to do either and it's not possible if we don't deploy anyway okay so that should do the trick um, and what you see here is the output of the Unreal front end okay so now I'm gonna hit here, oh that's this profile, oh let's give a name prepare project for development <laughs> yeah, just use whatever you like and then it's uh, let's launch this and I will continue after this process finished Okay, so everything finished. Now, for now, we don't need this anymore. And if we go to our project folder, we go to the subfolder saved, and here on the stage builds, we have the packaged uh, cooked game. And actually, this is the whole thing you need to run your game. And I double click on it, and as you can see, it works. Cool. So now, as I mentioned already, as you can see here, here is the game folder, and this is the engine folder. And now I just do this. I just copy this, which is the engine folder for this game. and to this level because 
and the compile stuff are actually here so if I compile it here it will go into this folder so now if we start our game from here let's start you see it works cool and as you can see it is really fast you see I press here one two and it's on and let me show you the editor target again and this if we start our game using this target it will use the Unreal Editor in game mode as I mentioned already and now you see it takes a while it takes a while it starts and we're still waiting now it looks like it's coming and maybe now and yes ready okay so then as you can see it is really a lot faster and now let me change here well you let's say I'm working on this thing oh it's that let's hide this um, yeah I change here the jump velocity again now I compile it and I want to see that change so one way was to restart the editor normally but that takes always ages or start uh, the editor in game mode using this target the editor target which is convenient so we don't need any code content so we can test the stuff or now this target so I modified compiled now I start and you see it's really fast here and we see already the change we made and well yeah I think that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope somehow you could I could help uh, you with this so you can set up here your own external tools where is it here and then I showed you how, uh, roughly how to use the project launcher so we create here a profile and then we can edit the stuff select here and yeah okay so that's it then I wish everyone happy coding and see you until the next tutorial